Now, what the crossfader also allows us to do is understand how different parts are combined to create something new. So you might think of the DJ as a connection hunter who starts with one piece of music like this one from the moments, love on a two-way street. Feel free to lean in. So that's one part. But then you might want to add a beat to it. From Isaac Hayes. And just like that, those two parts are combined to create something new. A Jay-Z and Alicia Keys track built on those two parts. Two become one without ever ceasing to be two. You might start with a little Ahmad Jamal. A song called Ghetto Child. But as beautiful as it is, you might get the urge to mess around with it. Punch it. Change its shape. Change its time signature. Change its tempo. Rewrite it, recompose it. Yet it's still it. And if you're Kanye West as a producer, you then throw a beat under it. And you get this. So that two, again, become one without ever ceasing to be two. Because all alchemy needs a little light. You might start with some Bobby Caldwell. So, so. Then if you're common, you might figure out a way to make the light shine on you too. I never knew a la 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 a la like this. Two become one without ever ceasing being two. I never knew a la 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 a la like this. Gotta be something for me to write this. So we can think of crossfading also as a kind of, of writing, of playing with texts and rewriting and recombining, like taking this track from the bubblegum machine. And then thinking, I'm going to combine this text with a beat from Joe Farrell and seeing what we get. But where do you come in? Right there. But then because we're coming here tonight, coming to you from Los Angeles, coming from Southern California, got to throw in some Herb Alpert right on top. So that three become one without ever ceasing to be three. Jay Peary.